Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Borderlands 2. So this is the post game, you know, there's a lot of stuff to get done, but more importantly is, look at my level. I'm level 50! Yay! I was playing around with one of my friends, you know, he decided to... I hopped into his game and we ended up farming the warrior in his game file forever. And he just let me grab all the guns, so... I've got, as you see right now, this gun I have right now on me is called the Volcano. But yeah, it's the Barking Volcano. I got this from playing with him. I got the conference call from playing with him. And then he gave me these two. So I feel really good. I didn't farm really much anything. It was just me basically sitting in there, trying not to die, getting some EXP, and basically farming up that way. I was basically there to kill racks. And that was my job. But yeah, so what we're gonna do now is do some of the, uh, well, specifically my two favorite DLCs, or my favorite DLC, and then we're going to work on uh, the Fight for Sanctuary DLC next, but we're going to do, where is, it? Where, is it? where is it, the Unassuming Docks. The Unassuming Docks of potentially little importance. <laughs> we're here. Once upon a time. The Vault Hunters play the game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. <laughs> What's going on? Brick. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault <laughs> hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren- Siren. Dibs. My siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, of why course. don't you just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Ooh. Yeah. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yikes. Uh, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! Ah. You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. Look how there's butterflies and everything here. Like, oh, everything was great until he messed it all up. Everything is surprisingly clean. It's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge. A far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Hey, this area smells vaguely of butts and death. An unpleasant stench. <gasps> hmm. Well, let's go to town, guys. Flame Rock Refuge. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymen. They start shooting at you. Yeah, this is why uh Oh. I'm glad I got Ow. The good stuff. Got that. But yeah, so as you can tell, their <laughs> weapon is a bit overpowered. By a bit I mean a lot. I keep missing you. 
What? First of all. But second of all. But second of all. Ah. You. Wait, you get it? You know, flame rock refuge, as in fire rock sanctuary. Yeah, flame rock refuge. You get close to the entrance to flame rock refuge, but suddenly, the handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears. Surprise attack! Oh, oh I want to smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing. Oh, that's not fair. The dragon attacks and. No. Critical hit! What? Okay, hey, Tina. Are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody, back up. What is next? Okay. I wanted to kill something. Okay. How about a new boss? He's a skeleton. All right. And his name is Mr. Bony Pants Guy? I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy! Yeah. I love how he's an actual boss. Does that work? This pleases me. This pleases me. Oh man, I love this game. So Mimi. You're dead. You're dead. You better. Better. Alright, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. We should go there. Go, go, go. Uh uh. No. The, there's specific elements to this game that you're supposed to pay attention to. This enemy that keeps reviving, it's because of the sword in his back. You remove the sword, he stops reviving. Hmm. I don't really care about any of these. But yeah, it's got a whole D&D theme. But you got your skeletons and all these other things. It's, it's like taking everything that you've done in Borderlands so far, give it a D&D theme, and there you go. Oh, holy, holy. Oh, stop. How was I missing on you guys? You know, in retrospect, I probably should ask my friend for a shield. But, uh, yeah. I don't really care because I can still one shot everybody. I mean, he plays the game regularly with no shield, so. Probably wouldn't actually be of any use. He's one of those players that plays with like a garbage shield because he always wants to roll damage, basically. It's like he gets like the earliest roid shield he can find and then he just uses that exclusively. He thinks it's like the most broken mechanic in the game. Completely fair because, you know, it gives you. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, load of stats. There's a rock. See? Like rock golem. And thank you, you're dead. I don't know who you think you're shooting at, buddy. Alright, goodbye. Let's get to Flame Rock Refuge Eye. How did I... I should, probably shouldn't have jumped down here without knowing how to get back up. That probably would have been smarter. Oh, but I can get up. Okay. I think. I think. Oh dear god, no. Not like this. Not like this. Don't make me have to go all the way around. At least I'm in his way back up here. You did it, did it. Come on. You're off. Oh, great. I gotta go all the way around again. Hmm. They don't want to have to do that, but I guess I got stuff. You know, I've actually never been on this side of the 
docks. Unrelative, un <gasps> unrelatively unvisited shoreline. I've literally never been back here. Hmm. But you know what they say. Spatula con. The flavor cave. In fact, there's somebody actually out here. Welcome. I am the great Spatula Khan. Destroyer of a men and the pleaser of a taste buds. I was greatest chef on Pandora. Until the weenie emperor rose to power. <laughs> the weenie emperor? Do you follow the way of the great dispatcher? Has your apparent experience the genocide of the bliss of my culinary warfare? If you are afraid to eat something, don't eat it. If you are eating something, don't be afraid. I am the punishment of the food gods. If your taste buds had not committed great sins, the gods would not have sent a chef like me upon you. You may have heard of me. I am a he who brought the mm -hmm. armies of hunters to their knees through what a single souffle. I have defeated the demons by pleasing their palates with the power of a thousand of Lamignons. I am the creator of the legendary America Sandwich. I want the mega sandwich. I don't know what's in it, but I want it. Anything else? No? Okay. Thanks, Khan. Pretty interesting to talk to. Unrelatively unvisited shoreline. Hmm. Oh, great. More enemies. Yeah. 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 Figured I might as well make this a trip with all of y'all. Unmotivated golem. Okay. Hmm. I have absolutely no clue what's going on out here right now. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Or every, wow, critical fail. Jesus. Just give me the Iridium back. Garbage roll. Uh, okay. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna leave. Uh, I don't know. If I probably can die out here. Best not to jump into the water. Uh, hmm. Don't need it. Goodbye. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut back until we get actually back on track to getting to Flame Rock Refuge, not. All right, so I'm an idiot and I could have just walked right back up here this entire time. Hamlet's, Hamlet of Swift passing through. In other words, you're just passing by. But here we are. Finally back on track to where we're supposed to be going. But yeah, so here's the cool thing. Remember how I told you it's basically a rehashing of everything you've already done in Borderlands, except in the form of D&D?
yeah so that's what we're basically going to be doing we're going to go through a real quick recap through tiny tina's minds of or tiny tina's version of what we're doing in borderlands it, it's relatively oh. short it's not super Resident super long town of flame rock refuge in the distance you see the town's scouting blimps always alert in case of battles and stuff what you gonna do now stop playing this game let's talk to some town folk a grand idea <laughs> You know what I love about this village? The queen hath gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the queen doesn't return, and we shall never see yeah. the sun again. Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. <sighs> uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blimp! Eleanor like is Ellie. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> you look troubled, ma'am. Tell me how I may help you. I long for a quest. The queen is missing. She went to the forest to bring the light back to the world. So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. All right. Let's go ahead and do that then. I won't let the soul serpent slave me. I'll die. Nobody's technically allowed in the forest since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. Turkey leg and a flask of grog. Thanks. You must save us from the sorcerer. All right, so let's go ahead and enter the forest, which seems to be this way. Wait, 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 whoa. Hey, I need to chill. Mad chill. Hi, Davlin. Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second. Man. It's dangerous to go alone. Look, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Tor. Tina, put me in the game. Okay, <laughs> the gatekeeper is now Mr. Tor. Woo! To see you. Wow. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude and get past me. First task, blow up the village of scouting clips with the fire weapon. Because reasons! So, real quick, we never actually got to meet Mr. Torg in game. This is the first time you meet him. This is all the weapons that explode and stuff. Yeah, she has his own DLC too. I just never actually played it. Well, at least not in the playthrough. I played it on like my personal runs. Ah, there they are. Blimps are too far away to destroy with gunfire. It's like a puzzle. Ah, that's what you say, huh? Like a puzzle. Yes, the ropes are too far away to set on fire, too. There we go. And there they go. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know. But yeah, so Torg does have a pretty cool DLC. It's like a battle tournament thing. And it's called uh, Mr. Torg's something of Badassitude. And I don't remember what it's called. But it also takes place in the crater of Badassitude. Mm -hmm. Setting it on fire. Fire! I gotta... Fire! There we go. 
the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Fantasy! All right, that is task two. Go to the town tavern. All right, well, let's go do that then. Wait, this town doesn't have a tavern. Okay, you're at the tavern. Moxie's Grog and Girls. Why does that not surprise me? Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't kill be afraid them? to get rough. Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh come on, alright. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never say nothing douchey again, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Excuse you. Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! Can I shoot him? I wish to shoot him. Oh, I cannot shoot him. Okay. Cut him off. They'll never see me coming. Psych! Oh my god! <laughs> Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I agree with Jesus Christ. I agree with Brick. That is amazing. Oh, that was so convenient. Thank God I had that skill where I can actually dash to people I'm trying to kill. Because if I didn't have that, I probably would have to actually run around, cut him off, and then kill him. Alright, Torg, let's turn this in. Then we're going into the forest. Torg, 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 Torg. Greeting! Am I right? <laughs> no, who missing? I want you to blow up the ocean! My god. Can you please get him out of our way? Alright, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks! The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. Why do I get the feeling he's gonna die first? Where did Davlin go? You enter the forest of tranquility! Tranquility? Okay. Boring! Hmm. Okay, good point. Hey! Who's pretty? Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. Okay. <gasps> Old dead body on that tree. Uh, Davlin, where'd you go, my boy? My guy? I've got it! In the forest of being eaten alive by trees? Oh my god, it's I a print. Hi. I'm not trying to deal with your mess. Stumpy. Bye bye, Stumpy. What? I see. Oh, will they die? Guessing mushrooms start growing? Interesting. It's a better than mine. Hmm. You find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be this. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Ain't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You notice that? Impressive. Mm, a Snyder. I will take it. Even though I don't need it, I will sell it and make some money. But yeah, apparently some of the pixies actually give you some bonuses and stuff. 
Okay, there's the Queen's Trail there. Not liking this. Hmm. Something suspicious. Oh wait, I should explore the side path. You know what? I'm gonna go explore the side path. What? Oh hell no. I'm not dealing with no big old spiders. I'm good. Thank you very much. Go explore the side path. I wanna go see what's up here. I have to go through this way to get to the side. Oh, my voice, jeez. Alright, let's go. Then, oh, it's over here. Uh, where are you going? We're exploring. You may not want to do that. I only balanced the combat on the main path and. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Ex. Excuse me? Wait, wait, wait. How in the hell are Tina? we supposed to kill these things? What? The oh, my bad, oh. my bad! I'll fix it! I can let me fix it! Then way over here. Boom! Combat balanced! Jesus Christ. Thing was level 79. Ow, ow, ow. Here's the dead. More things to sell. Hmm. I shall roll one dice because I cannot roll two because I don't have the iridium. Ooh, nat 20. I get the big boys. I'll take that singularity. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really care about y'all. And that can go away too. Why not? Ooh, there was some iridium. Oh, I didn't know that. I would have picked it up anyway. Are you a tree or are you just a tree? You need to be just a tree. I was very wrong. It was a tree It was a tree It was a tree Fighter's too great. Uh... Die, please. Thank you. Carrying on. Oi, over here. Captain. Follow me. I believe the queen went this away. Curses, a dead end. There must be some way This is orcish writing. Mm hmm. It says you need to bathe the artifacts in the juices of blah blah blah. Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. Okay. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here. All right, but we will do that in the next episode, guys, of Let's Play Borderlands 2, where we actually go through, you know, the rest of this DLC. Like I said, it's rather short, so I'm probably gonna do shorter episodes just for this, <gasps> just to, you know, keep things at least adequately paced. And then after this, I'll be doing the Borderlands 3 tie-in DLC. So other than that, guys, I hope you liked today's episode of Let's Play Borderlands 2. I see you there, Orc. Orc Zerkers, I think they they work in reverse. If you leave them alone after aggroing them in combat, they actually start leveling up, and it makes no sense to me. But yeah, um, I will catch you guys next time on Let's Play Borderlands 2. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and join the Curly Crew. I will catch you all here next time, everybody. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.